Okay, this is probably uh, one of the biggest pieces of wood I've found for a long time, so... Into blocks. Here we go. I've got uh, high hopes for this piece. It's a, it's a very big one. Big, thick, maybe a third of a tree. Giant slab. Put on my earmuffs here. Got to protect the hearing. And fire up the old saw. Just going to cut the end off here quickly so we can uh, see what we're up against here. And there's the end. Big slab. Brownish wood too. That's, that's always a good sign. And here we go. Slice number one. I'm going to cut off a 24 inch slice off of it. I don't want to hit that gravel underneath there. There it is. I'll just tip it up there now and start splitting it up with the plastic wedge and axe. Here we go. Getting some fantastic big blocks out of it here. Encountering a few waves and a few small knots, but otherwise it's looking very, very good. Trim off this heart piece there. Okay, let's cut off another piece here, another 24 inch slice. I'm not going to go for anything longer. It is a bit naughtier than I was hoping for. And there's a few defects and waves. So we'll see what we can get out of it at 24 inches. As you can see, I'm right beside the water this time, so it's going to be really easy to get it into the boat. Here it is, huge blocks. Beautiful wood in this tree. Plastic wedge, split off the defects, taken off the bark here. Get rid of the sap wood. Plastic wedge it up. I'm trying to de-heart that whole piece there, didn't work. Here we go, another block. And looks like there's a big knot in that piece, so I'll try to take off a big heart off there. Maybe it'll disappear. And there we go, another slice. Here we go. Husqvarna chainsaw. As you can see, right beside my boat there, so this is probably one of the easiest pieces I've cut in a long time. Dig out a bit of gravel there so I don't hit the ground with my chainsaw. Tip that up. Alright, take off that sapwood. The bark is already actually flaked off, but there's a layer of sapwood that needs to come off of there. And get rid of the big waste pieces there, which leaves us with some very nice cedar. Plastic wedge. And here we go. Western red cedar. Cut off another slice here. 24 inches once again. Video sped up a bit just to make things move on quicker here. Okay, flip up this next big round here. I'm using a wedge a lot of the time to take off the sap wood there just for accuracy. You can place the wedge exactly where you want rather than chopping where you know you're gonna miss a little bit. There we go. Trying to look for edge grain blocks there. Splitting it up like a big pie from the outside to the center of what would be the tree. Okay, that's it. I'll cut up here now. Now it's time to load up the boat. Push my boat around there a bit into a more convenient spot. Just picking them right up and putting them right in there. Doesn't get any easier than that. Might be back uh, for that other big log just behind me there. It's a big cedar there as well. It's got kind of a hollow center, but you never know, it could yield something. Anyway, you don't want to load too much into your boat, otherwise you get greedy and your boat sinks.
there it is beach combing for cedar thanks for watching and please subscribe